Hello, JCI USA. MDD Ross and I are on here today. We just wanted to come on real quick and tell everybody what all we have going on this week and some important reminders. We've got a busy week ahead of us, don't we, Ross? We have a lot going on this week, for sure. There's, uh, I think, something almost every day this week. There is. Hey, Kevin, how are you? Um, yeah, so, well, I guess we'll start with the important reminders first. That way, I um, just kind of want to let everyone know that the TOYA deadline for nominations has been um, pushed back to May 20th. So, we to make sure we get some more nominations in and make sure we really polish up our current nominations so we can get people in our communities um, showcased. We and also then, have um, passport. The, I don't know how many of. Go ahead. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> um, the passport to civic leadership. Um, there's a challenge out by um, program manager Parker. Um, we're looking for a hundred individuals to reach the tenth degree by the um, the end of the year. Um, and this is a perfect time to to do that because uh, a lot of the programming that we're doing uh, attributes to the, the passport and the things that we, you do. If you log on to the database, you can go ahead and check those off and get those approved by your, your chapter or state leaders. Yep. And then um, we have Nothing But Nets is still going. We have a goal to raise $5,000 for Nothing But Nets by the end of the year. So if your chapters are doing anything for nothing but nets, be sure to send those to program manager Chris so that he can send it and showcase um, it on our national website and send it into nothing but nets so that um, your chapter gets some shout outs about doing the things that y'all are doing for nothing but nets. That's really cool. And another thing that we're doing that's um, really awesome. And, you know, through all of this, we've always thanked our, our frontline workers, our nurses, our first responders, and everybody that's out in the front line, our essential workers and that type of thing. Um, but JCI USA as an organization really wants to thank them personally. So on our website, if you go to JCIUSA.org, uh, there's a gratitude to humanity campaign that we're doing. Uh, if you click on that, we can showcase them on social. Uh, and then once those get submitted, our chaplain, Nate Martin, is going to send out a thank you as well, a personalized thank you. Yeah, I think that's a really awesome way to, you know, show them thanks. And then for us to still be involved, even though we don't feel like we're 100% involved right now because we're sitting at the house. I love that idea. It's it's a great so, program. I think yeah. Um, the only other thing is kind of deadline wise and it's chapter and state taxes. They are due May 15th. I know a lot of personal taxes and maybe even your businesses, they had an extension, but according to um, COF Anthony, we spoke with him on Leadership Live Thursday, there was not a deadline for nonprofits and not for profit. So it was not an extension. So those are still due on May 15th. Um, if you have any questions in regards on how to file your 990 or your postcard, you can reach out to info at jciusa.org or you can email Anthony at acoletti at jciusa.org. And if anybody needs that email typed in, I'll type it in the comments when we leave here. Awesome. So um, now I guess we're on to our busy week. Yeah, so starting tonight um, at 6.30 Central, we have uh, the Active Citizen Framework with uh, Deputy National President Jay. Uh, so that training's on our JCI USA Facebook page. So if you want to register for that, you just um, go to the event itself and there's a registration submission form. Once you submit that form, it'll send you the link to the Zoom meeting for tonight. So that should be a really cool opportunity for our members. And then you're hosting game night, Tuesday night, um, eight o'clock. Yep. Uh, so tomorrow is the, the digital is games. Is that just the Jackbox game or is that the? Yeah. So it's um, Jackbox. We might play Evil Apples. We've got some some different games that we, we play on Of course, we have Tuesdays. happy hour every Wednesday. Yep. 
Um, happy hour every Wednesday. And then you've got Leadership Live on Thursdays, which everybody looks forward to. I know those have been really cool lately. Uh, lots of information and lots of challenges and incentives in there. Yeah, we had a lot of fun on those, those lately. And then I'm going to let you talk about the murder mystery. Yeah, so Friday is our second uh, installment of the murder mystery. Uh, we have a completely new case, uh, which means we have new suspects as well. You'll see investigator LeBlanc back going through the deliberation. I know she had her hands full the last time. Um, from what I've seen so far and kind of putting this together and talking to her, there's a lot more drama with this one. So probably should miss out on that. Uh, and then we have the incentives to the one uh, who guesses the case correctly is entered into win a $20 Amazon gift card. So that's a really fun opportunity, not just for our members, but it's also, you know, something to do on a Friday night. That's really fun. And what time does that start? That starts Friday at 7 Central on Facebook Live. So on the JCI USA page, we'll go live a little bit before that. We'll talk about some of the things that are going on, um, and then we'll we'll get right into it. Okay. And then we have game night again, Uno night, on Saturday at 8, right? Yep. Uh, Saturday at 8 is Uno, and we've really kind of upped the ante a little bit. We've had people playing, but it seems like we've gotten more varieties of Uno cards, and everybody's out shopping for different themed ones. I know I got my uh, Charlie Brown themed Uno cards, and um, CDD Emily has like a Nightmare Before Christmas themed Uno deck. Um, so it's really cool to see. Jesper had like this huge, I feel like they were six foot Uno cards that were like bigger than the screen, but uh, lots of different. Okay. Yeah, lots of different cards. It's great to see. And Lacey, she's still got the baby cards. Yep, Lacey from Wyoming has the baby cards. I'd love to see both of them playing like next to each other because Jesper's like, like I said, they're huge. They're like this big. Like they cover his face. I would hate to have to shuffle them. <laughs> we don't know how he does it. All right. Well, I think that was pretty much all that we have this week. I mean, it's a lot, but pick and choose what you can come for. And we look forward to seeing anyone that can show up to any or all of it if you're interested. Yep. It's a busy week, but lots of cool opportunities. So hopefully we'll see you on, on one of them this week. Yep. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to Ross or myself about anything going on this week. And we will try and get you in, um, I'm so glad Jesper came in to show up, Lacey. <laughs> um, we will get you in contact with the right person that you need to speak to. And we will see you next week. Have a good week, everybody. Bye.